Hello, my beautiful fishies. Hi there, Pisces. My name is Abby. You are on Rogue Pisces Tarot. I am here to give you just a daily reading. So if you're new to the channel, very, very welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by and clicking. There are a whole bunch of daily readings that are timeless. So if you don't get the answers you want here, or if you just want more, uh, there's a whole playlist there that I link at the end of the reading. You can also find it in the playlist section on my channel. Okay, let's get into it. Everybody knows how it works, right? If you're coming across a tarot reading on the internet. It's posted. It can be for anybody. Um, use your intuition, okay? You know the details of your life. We have the Two of Wands sitting there at the bottom of the deck. This is the Tarot of Enchanted Dreams and the Tarot Grand Lux today. I decided your girl wanted to be opulent. <laughs> so <laughs> we're getting into this. A little bit of crossroads energy. Two of Wands. So, you know, this is hanging out and you know wandering down the path of life and then we find ourselves in a place where there are a couple different ways that we could go and sometimes those passions are sort of they're wanting to pull us in different directions and we can sometimes imagine obstacles that aren't as bad as they necessarily are is what i tend to get from this card now both of these like this feels like the choice is somewhat obvious in this card at least, okay? If you see that, there's there's sort of a light path and a little bit of a darker path. This path here seems to be going towards something much more bright and interesting. And this one's sort of more dreamy and dark and unknown. And the path here is is very very strong and very clear going towards the sort of sunny days path but <clears throat> this can happen sometimes where we will we'll think well we could also do the other thing we could also just default to plan b um there are lots of ways that we can sort of cause some delays and that doesn't mean that there aren't also um just straight up life delays you know uh, there could be some stuff happening that's maybe <laughs> making things happen not quite as quickly as we would like. So Pisces, let's take a look here. I want to see what's at the bottom of the second deck while I get into a judgment. There's a lot of this happening for Pisces right now, it feels. This sort of resurrection energy, this kind of um, like hearing your true calling. Yeah, we okay, we have the Page of Swords, or sorry, the Ten of Wands and the Page, no, what? The Ten of Swords and the Page of Wands. Jeez Louise. Really, really beautiful energies. Interesting. So in the main energy here, this Page of Wands could have a fire sign in your life, um, especially someone who's sort of young at heart. This feels more so Pisces, like this is your energy. Now it's Page of Wands energy, which is about like going off, starting an adventure, being assertive, having some passions and some things that you want to follow feeling sort of lit up and sparky and just like man I want to get out there and I want to I want to see if this catches I want to grow a flame I want to grow a bonfire I want to you know what I mean it, this feels very um big and the ten of swords energy coming in and clarifying and it feels like this is possibly connected to some kind of cycle closing out okay something that probably was full of illusions was full of um a lot of thoughts a lot of mental energy it could have been a lot of cycles in which there was maybe some pain or some healing some things that you had to free yourself from in some way and now this page of wands energy is like coming in and it, it just feels like the first few careful steps <laughs> out into uh, taking some more control and into trying some new things and getting things off the ground. So wands tend to symbolize things that are like passion projects. It can symbolize, uh, to me, I tend to see wands as being very physical. So this could have to do with your physical health, physical goals that you might have, um, some sort of competition or um, just something that you want to do with your body, it always feels like to me. Um, and that can be like, sometimes it's, you know, involves other people, sometimes it doesn't. But um, it can also be inspiration, spirituality. It's a very sparky 
um, sort of life giving energy. Okay. Very nice, interesting energy. So it's nice to see something like a start and it being connected to an ending to understand that something needs to be sort of over and that part of this thing being over is getting excited about whatever it is that the new thing is that you're going towards, which I feel like probably has to do with an inner calling for you here, Pisces. We have in the main energy or the main theme of the reading, the nine of cups, gorgeous, wish fulfillment, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and then some Aries energy coming in here with the emperor. So some of you could have an Aries who is very much centered around this. And there's a lot of love, a lot of sort of satisfaction, contentment, happiness, wish fulfillment, okay? So that is definitely, it could be that there might be a particular connection or relationship that is very satisfying to you at this time and brings a lot of sort of general contentment and happiness, okay? Um, I'm feeling like there could possibly be uh, for some, if it has to do with a relationship, there could be something about sort of honoring the relationship and being in the relationship and being happy about the relationship, but also making room for your own projects, your own inner calling, your own individuality, okay? Which doesn't mean that you're, you're losing yourself to the relationship or anything like that. Um, some people do that, you know, some people get so wrapped up in, in a connection that they just kind of disappear <laughs> from every other aspect of their life. Uh, but that's not really what I'm feeling here. I'm feeling like it's more, if this is speaking to you about a relationship, it's more so about just the, um, the confidence of just knowing it's there and that it's a touchstone and that you're able to go like, yeah, this is, this part's good. And this person's going to be supportive of the things that I want to do. And I, I can also express my own individuality outside of this. Um, whether they get all of it or not doesn't really matter. Um, I'm just going to do my own thing also. And I can do both. Okay. Now, for people where there isn't a relationship, this feels like it could be talking about a lot of uh, contentment and fulfillment that comes in the form of discipline and having a kind of loving control being sort of the epitome of um, a leader okay this is a very active energy the emperor very very active even though they're sitting uh, this is someone who writes the laws someone who governs over several kingdoms someone who has a whole lot going on um, and is very action oriented, very strategic. Okay. Now you could have made some plans recently, or you could have figured out a way to use the tools that are at your disposal in a more sort of disciplined and strategic way recently. And this is going to bring a lot more sort of contentment. And I, I feel like open a door of some kind um, for some of you that maybe you know, was kind of halfway open. <laughs> I'm feeling like with this two of wands energy, we have in the, oh, nines on nines. Interesting. Okay. So in the challenge energy, we have the nine of swords. Ooh, such big cards. I'm always like, how far do I have to hold them? And then the nine of swords, nines on nines. Interesting. So this is talking about the end of a cycle being very close. This is some world weariness, some determination probably to move forward. But it, it feels like someone, like the nine of wands is very, very capable. Like if you see here, we have this figure who's sort of leaning on the wand, can't even really see their face. Um, but they they have the ability and the spark in that wand that they still have. That one's lit up. They can go on. They can get something going. They have so much experience behind them. This Nine of Swords makes me think of like how she's looking in the window and all she sees is the devil. <laughs> and it, it just feels like, stop. 
if the if looking in the window or if looking in is is making me think almost like a scrying mirror if any of you know what that is it's that's like a mirror or some people use like a bowl of water some people use it to, uh this feels like an exercise almost of like delving into the depths of your mind because it's swords so it's not even about tangible things it's probably about thoughts um fantasies illusions that kind of thing um and if you're looking, if you're looking very intently and all that your mind seems to be projecting at the moment is negativity or certain events that are very, very difficult to deal with, um, it, part of me is just wanting to say to you, why keep looking? Like, why keep looking? Um, there's acknowledging the things that are there is important. Don't ignore them. But don't get so fixated that it's like all you're staring at um, is this, this energy in the mirror, I'm wanting to say. I know it's in the window in this card, but I'm seeing it like a mirror. Uh, so I would say to you, Pisces, there might be some, you know, some shadowy stuff. There could be some old memories, some old negativity, but it's stuff that's passed. Now it's left an impression. It's left an imprint. It's made a memory, right? It's made a little connection in your brain. There's now like a, you know, it's a whatever that is now. It's it's there, but that doesn't mean it has to be a focus. This thing, it feels like there's something that might be trying to steal focus um, from the sort of path that you need to go on and it's interesting because this you have the nine and the ten the nine being the challenge and the ten being the overall like the energy S something needs to stop and end a cycle needs to close of some sort and that might need to be acknowledged okay you might need to do something or say something out loud or have a conversation or whatever it is that you have to do uh, to symbolically close a, a certain cycle and understand that it isn't like we um we close cycles with either people places things modes of thinking our, our self-image or whatever it happens to be right like i'm no longer going to beat myself up over x y and z um i'm going to accept that this was a part of my life and it doesn't matter like you know what i mean whatever it is um it doesn't mean that we wake up the next day and we're just like check it out <laughs> everything's great nine of cups <laughs> like it's still gonna pop up from every now and again it's gonna take a little bit of effort um that when this this face shows up in in your mirror in your mind's eye or in your dreams or when you're laying in bed at night trying to get to sleep and your brain starts to drift back is to maybe find some exercises or some tools some things that you can do that can help you shift okay I know this might be a little funny. Um, I have this. Ah, Vicks Vapor Rub. Interesting. <laughs> this is actually just caught my eye. It's, it was just sitting there. Um, but it was actually um, a, a suggestion by my therapist where she was like, if you get into a mode where like you are um, like obsessing over a certain thing, then you can sort of like put a little bit of it like underneath <laughs> Just like touch the tip of your nose with it and then it's cold and it also smells really strong and then you get distracted and you have to think about that because it's like so <laughs> it's like such a sensory thing you can't even help it and i was like i remember her giving me that tip way back and um it it works it come for me at least it comes in handy occasionally um if you find that that kind of stuff is happening. So sometimes, especially if we're moving through life cycles, we're trying something new, we're doing whatever, we'll like the past will kind of call upon us, right? And we just need to put it in its place and let it know. Oh, frick. Damn, Pisces, I love this. <laughs> this is your suggested action. This is beautiful. We have the Knight of Wands and the Empress. Freaking heck. So this is like Taurus energy and Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could it be just an earth sign in general with the Empress because it just feels like the whole damn earth to me, especially this card. But more specifically Taurus. Um, wow. So this is just like, for some reason, I'm wanting to tell you to let yourself get a little bit mad. That's interesting. Go on and like, oh. You, whether you're male, female, or otherwise, okay, 
this empress energy is so beautiful it's so abundant it's so resourceful it's so nurturing it's so attractive <sighs> this just kind of feels like there's let yourself have a little fire lit under you even if that means getting a little pissed off if you have to get pissed off at whatever this thing is and use that as your whoosh as your fuel as your fuel to get going that's fine um anger isn't always a negative emotion there are upsides to anger okay like it can help sometimes to get a little ticked off and be like yep that's it i've had it i'm not doing i'm not dealing with this swords bs anymore like i'm not doing that i'm the friggin empress the friggin emperor right <laughs> like divine counterparts on the board beautiful energy this feels like very passionate and being like all right let's get going let's get this like i know the knight of wands can be kind of inconsistent energy but this feels more to me like a burst like the page of wands is like yeah okay let's get ready to go on an adventure but it feels like this this page graduating <laughs> graduating into this knight of wands energy and then just like it feels like a burst this feels really nice and really hopeful don't be dissuaded like of course don't go screwing yourself over like yelling at your boss or losing your temper on anybody um i'm not saying like it's good to get um mean you know that's not not the message but this feels like a little bit of like um like i don't know it's just like really fiery assertive um this beautiful burst of just sort of like here i am this is what i'm doing I'm going after it. I don't care what anybody says. I got to try it. I've got to at least go, you know, if it, if it doesn't work, I'll pivot. If that doesn't work, I'll pivot. I'll figure something else out, but I'm not just going to stare at this friggin' road and wonder about it. I'm not doing that. I've heard something inside myself. I have heard something tell me that I need to pay attention to it. And I'm getting into this balance of like divine feminine and masculine, pulling in these energies, these major attractive energies Ooh, Pisces, I love it. I'm so hyped for you lately. It is so our season. Like, let's give it up for Pisces season. Beautiful. We have, okay, so in releasing past energies, we have the King of Swords and the Six of Wands. So air sign energy, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, more fire with the Six of Wands. A whole lot of victory and success. Hmm. There could be like an air sign or some air energy that's like this, okay? This would be sort of the epitome of the sword suit. This would have to do with being really good negotiator, being very logical, um probably thinking more than they speak. And someone who can come off kind of cold, and it's not that they don't feel, they feel very deeply but they let their brain um, do the heavy lifting, okay? There could be some kind of win with something. Like, I'm getting for some of you, there might be a relationship or a connection. I don't know if this is a boss or a father figure, an authority figure of some sort, because, um, like, the emperor is kind of making me think of authority a little bit, and then the king of swords can also be authority. Um that it feels like maybe didn't necessarily acknowledge your wins a whole lot. Um, for the most part, Pisces, I'm just feeling like if there's something here about not having your wins acknowledged, um, you have the ability to really just kind of crush, crush a lot of goals. Um, there are things that you want to move forward on that I feel like could be very, very successful. And other people might not be able to see exactly what you're doing or where you're going. They might not be able to make sense of it in the beginning, okay? Um, but that's okay. That doesn't, you don't need to be understood completely to still have a good idea and to still have um, good things come out of it. Interesting. 
plans. Something about plans. <laughs> there could be a plan that you had. Something to do with communication. Especially I'm wanting to say like... um international communication or something that could be utilized over probably the internet or radio or something like that that is actually a very good idea and can bring possibly a lot of success i don't know who that's for but only take it if it's yours <laughs> if it makes sense okay now, in your key to tomorrow, we have the Eight of Pentacles and we have the Two of Swords. So, Pisces. This is a lot of hard work and recognition. This feels like getting into the details of your sort of earthly matters is going to be rewarded very much. We have more crossroads energy with the Two of Swords. But this is less, um, this is more of an illusion. Swords are all mind space, right? Here it's like, which way do I take my passions? And then here it's kind of like, uh, I could do this or I could, uh, like, I'm not really sure. So I'm just going to protect myself and wait until I have enough information. Now, some of you could be waiting on some specific information to make a choice. And that makes sense. If there's especially something related to work, maybe a new job offer or trying to see whether or not someone is investing um, in a specific connection or in a relationship, right? You might you might be just sort of in the information gathering stage, as I tend to call it, like the reconnaissance mission, where you're just like, all right, this feels good. I like it, but I want to make sure that I'm invested in my future, right? I'm invested in my future and in my well-being and in the things that I want to bring into my life because I'm feeling like I can have every wish and everything that I want right now. And so I am trying to find ways to bring those into reality through my real world efforts. And then there's some kind of decision that may need to be made. Um, and it feels like it's more so you just balancing, um, you know, the your best interests with your passions. Okay, that's fine. This is not no it's not really a i mean it's a little bit of stalemate energy but it kind of feels like in the meantime you're you're gonna work on stuff this feels very nice so it's like even if there is a bit of indecision here and there's more information that you need before you can totally see clearly what's going on right they have this sort of little veil on the over their eyes uh, the blindfold isn't super significant. They can see through it. Their eyes are still visible, but they, they don't know exactly everything that they need to. It's like, okay, you don't need to know every little detail necessarily to already be, be doing things and making plans and taking little steps towards stuff. There's probably still something that you can do to forward your plans. Um, even if you are maybe checking certain people out or certain things out or certain platforms or whatever it is um, that you're doing, right? whatever you're working on and wanting to invest in. This is just telling me like you can still, your key is not to get too stuck, right? It's not, it's not stopping. Don't be afraid of going too slow. Be afraid of standing still. Okay, Pisces. All right. So since I love to do full, complete, long ass readings, I'm going to clear these and then I'm going to start with oracles. One second. Okay, spirit. We please have from the moon. Are there any energies? I'll be clarifying with the Island Times Wellness Law of Attraction deck. This is the Moonology deck. Or I've recently figured out probably a counterfeit, but whatever. What are we going to do? Okay, so Pisces, let's go through them first. So we have a personal issue reaches resolution. This one's been coming out a few times for us. 
So there could be, yeah, and it's time to take action. <laughs> this Aries energy, you could have an Aries in your life, but this feels like very much that burst, that fiery burst that I was kind of feeling there of like getting a little ticked off and being like, I've had it. I'm going for it. I don't care. I feel like you've gotten all of these cards before. This is freaky. Didn't we just get all these cards? Bring love into the situation, Pisces. We have don't let pride get in your way. You saw me shuffle. You saw them come out. Like, what the hell? We have have faith in your dreams. And the end of a tough cycle approaches. Okay, that's Ten of Swords energy right there. I actually really like the Ten of Swords. Whenever people are like, wah, Ten of Swords showed up. I'm like, why? Like, <laughs> good stuff is coming in, right? Like, that's, a, that's hope on the horizon. That's a really beautiful energy. You've been working hard, Pisces, for this personal issue reaching resolution. What do we have? Gratitude. Okay. So it's telling us that having gratuity it increases the attraction and opportunities. The, the little things do count. And to be grateful for all of your life. This could be one of those situations where you might have to look at something as... Even if it was like that crappy devil in the window or in the mirror or whatever it happens to be for you, um, to look at it as an opportunity to have learned something that it brought you to where you are and exactly the place that you are in made you the person you are today, that you're a survivor, you're still here, you're still kicking ass. I love it. It's interesting. The little things do count. And that doesn't mean you can't want more. It doesn't mean you have to love the experience that you had and be like, mm, yeah, that's great. I love all the bad stuff too. It's like, it's, I, that's not really the feeling. I know I've heard people say that where it's like, you have to love the good and the bad and all the stuff. And I'm like, that's not really the feeling. It's more like acknowledging it and being like, thank you for this lesson. <laughs> you know, this taught me so much. It was a crappy lesson. Um, and I didn't really enjoy learning it, but in the end, I know that I'm better for having learned it, right? I know that I will now have this knowledge of maybe not to give too much time to the wrong people or how to identify certain behaviors that are not good for you or whatever it happens to be, right? Some kind of, uh, or like maybe it's even like, oh, okay, there's stuff from my childhood that has been affecting me for years that I didn't even really tune into that i go towards certain patterns i gravitate towards certain people because it just reminds me of what i'm used to right if you grew up in chaos then chaos might be what feels normal to you that vibration is comfortable you might actually get like some people get scared or, or um, anxious when it's too quiet they can't handle it when it's too calm because they're just like, well, what, what, the, what is this? I don't know. This, this feels like, especially if there was a cycle um, that you experienced in your early life where it was like quiet before the storm, right? Because then you'll just be like, you'll, you, your brain makes all these connections so early on, right? I don't know who needed that, but there was something in there that I needed to talk about. So with the, um, it's time to take action, new moon and Aries inspired action so pisces like take action when you feel like it when things come to you uh follow that intuition right if you see a synchronicity that reminds you of a project a person a thing that you're working on or working with or um your own personal development and growth and you're just sort of like hmm i should probably start doing whatever just like follow it ride it out you know <laughs> just ride it out see what happens um like so even if it's like oh i've been wanting to journal lately and then you think of it and you're just like hmm yeah i should i should journal and then it's like well i don't have a journal oh i guess i'd have to find one and i'm really picky in particular i guess i'd have to go find one that i like and the next thing i know i'm gonna be on a website forever trying to figure one out it's like if you have a cornerstone down this corner store down the street or something where you can just go get like a little pad of paper go get it right if you have a printer and it has paper in it for now go take some pieces out you know 
tear them apart, staple them together, and we're going to use this for now until you find the perfect thing. There's things you can do to make do, but like when you feel that urge, just like, boom, go with it. The fiery bursts. When we have bring love into the situation, and it's clarified by how to manifest. And look at all those hearts. Isn't that interesting? Bring love into the situation. So to state your thoughts as I am or I have, then believe that you have it. Okay, feel that you have it. Again, with the inspired action, touching back to this, know that it's done, have some fun, align, and receive. Feeling worthy of receiving is a big deal in manifestation. Um, and let yourself ask for things that, you know, that maybe feel a little funny, a little greedy, right? You might have to practice that to feel comfortable with getting all that you're worth because you're the motherfucking emperor as an emperor. Don't let pride get in your way, all right? And clarifying that is trying too hard. Interesting. So it's saying force creates resistance to let go and let flow, rest. Yeah, okay, be lighthearted. So um, if there are some sort of like prideful energies that are you want to show someone in particular up. Maybe you have an issue with perfectionism. Um, yeah. Being very critical, I'm feeling, because it's like you want the best. Try to just let things flow and have fun. <laughs> you know, be lighthearted. Be like, all right, I'm going to try. Because this warns in its, um, in its worst. It, warn it warns about burnout, Okay. So if you need to bring in some better life work balance, or if you need to bring in some a balance of wanting the best and demanding the best for yourself in your manifestations in the future life that you're trying to build for yourself, the current life that you're trying to bring your energy into, right? Um, be mindful of just burning out <laughs> on um, trying so hard, right? Um, there should be some Try and bring a little ease and lightheartedness to the situation. For have faith in your dreams, we have specificity matters. Interesting. So the universe can only give you what you ask for. What? A <laughs> have faith in your dreams. The universe can only give you what you ask for. Try to narrow it down and be as specific as feels good to you. Have faith, Pisces. That's bonkers. I love it. Now we have the end of a tough cycle approaches. And then talks about daily habits, all right? So if you've been kind of going through it and there's been a lot of hard work involved, there's been a lot of processing emotions and feelings and, you know, old cycles or, you know, whatever it happens to be, and then you're trying to start something new, uh, take care of yourself, right? Give yourself maybe something like a routine, and that doesn't mean you beat yourself up when you don't follow it 100% to the letter. This means putting a routine in place so that you don't have to think about it, right? Give yourself some stuff that you do maybe first thing when you wake up, whether you're a morning, afternoon, evening person, whatever works best for you. But like things that you can do in your day that are just kind of automatic that you know that every day when you wake up, you do X, Y, Z. Like I wake up every morning, I take my medication and my vitamins, I drink like my water bottle, which is like 750 mils. So I have all my, you know, I've gotten rehydrated. Um, and then I'm going to get up. I'm going to, before I even look at my phone, I'm going to make sure I have a good breakfast or I'm going to go put on my shoes and go for a walk around the block, you know, whatever it happens to be. So that you, something that's like so automatic that you don't have to think about it later. Um, I like this. So to make healthy choices, cumulative effects. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to build up over time. It's going to build up over time, honey. Okay, I'm going to do an energy oracle. How are we at for time? 34. That's not bad. Ooh. And then don't worry, I didn't forget the rebel deck. I saw it here out of the corner of my eye. All bright pink. I'm going to do this first. I feel like this corner is up higher, so we're going to look at it like this. Ooh, walking away. 27, so I'll read this one first and give you the affirmation. So this is letting go and moving on. Okay. 
says this card shows someone walking away from an existing situation. She is closing the gate behind her and is walking into the misty, unknown future. This card upright reveals that it could be time for you to make a similar decision. There may be something that you've finished with, perhaps a career goal, a relationship, or a long-term experience of any kind. The familiarity of the situation may be enticing, but you're now ready to look at your options on the open road ahead. In reality, an important new beginning is at hand. These cards also or this card also indicates that now would be a good time to let go of an old habit, an emotional pattern, or a false belief. No matter how deeply ingrained a negative pattern may be, you now have the power to release it and to move on to a freer, healthier way of thinking and relating to yourself and others. Whether it's in the inner or the outer world, this card is telling you that you have the readiness and resources to walk away from the old and move forward now. Love it. Okay, and the affirmation is, it is safe and comfortable for me to move on. I consider all my options and then take action on my own behalf. Love it. Okay, do I wanna just let these fly? It doesn't feel appropriate to draw them specifically. <laughs> They're just so foul-mouthed. Okay, if you're new here, this is the Rebel deck. It has some cursing. If you don't like to curse yourself, that's cool. I'll do it for you. Um, so let's see. What does the Rebel deck have to say with the energies that are in this reading? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay, so the first one... Here, we have to get over yourself and pull your shit together. <laughs> Help people give back, do good shit for humanity. Uh, sometimes when we are in a crappy place, it can help us to help others first. Because sometimes we, sometimes we don't know how to help ourselves first, right? And Pisces is kind of notorious for this, for giving really great advice to other people, for taking care of other people. Um... And so don't neglect yourself for others. I'm not saying that. Um, I'm not saying devote yourself to someone else and give all your, your energy somewhere else. But there might be something that could sort of lend a helping hand to, let's say, like more of an organization. Let's make it less personal, okay? So let's make it less personal so that you won't get personally sucked in necessarily. So let's talk about maybe... Um, volunteering a little time for like a charity or an organization or for something like that, something that will make you feel good. Maybe circulating a petition, <laughs> all right? Maybe something like this um, that will help you feel one, more connected to other people and two, less focused on your own issues. That might be the thing. Okay, we have, they broke your heart, fuck them. Yeah. Now, whoever broke your heart, um, I don't know if that's in a romantic relationship, could be parental figures, um, could be all kinds of things, friends, you know, I've had my heart broken by a friend, <laughs> you know, um, where you just like something happens and a, a betrayal or, or some kind of fight or something like that happens. Those are valid heartbreaks also. Not everything is about romantic relationships, right? Um, so if, especially if it's something that can't be mended, fuck it. Fuck it. Who cares? We're going to have to, like, you're going to have to um, take the best out of it and then move on. We have believe what you see again with this. So face reality or live in fucking la la land. Choose bravely. Okay, so this is sort of, to me, um, believe what you can actually see. Trust your actual senses, not just like your impressions, not just your feelings, not just your thoughts, but also take into account um, what's really real. Uh, there's like that ghost in the window, that devil in the window, the devil in the mirror. It's like, is that real? <laughs> Let's get into it, right? Is that really real? Do I need to be putting my time, attention, effort, and energy into supporting whatever that image is? Probably not. Probably not. We also have, you need a big fucking hug. <laughs> you and me both, honey. Squeeze. I miss hugs so much. That is probably one of the hardest parts of this whole experience for all of us worldwide, I think. 
man i miss hugs i'm a very like huggy huggy person let me see here we also have time to let go which was hanging out above the walking away card it says move the fuck on there's something here that needs to be walked away from for sure we also have you do you i haven't seen this in a while you do you stop trying to change people that shit never works Okay, so if some of the things you're working on or the personal issues or whatever it happens to be, if it's reliant upon someone else making a change fundamentally, like, oh, my, like, oh, our relationship will be better if this person just realizes whatever, or oh, if they acknowledge this, or oh, if I get an apology from this person, or oh, if I get acknowledgement from this person, it's like, we can't rely on those things because we can't control them. We have to make peace with them. It sucks, but we do, okay? Because we can't mess with someone else's journey. We can't mess with someone else's free will. You have no timeline or guarantee on when that person or if that person um, will ever come around and be able to give you what you want. You know, a lot of the time these journeys take a lot of healing and a lot of effort and a lot of energy. So take care of yourself, okay? Take care of yourself. That's why I'm saying like, do something kind sure for things outside of yourself right help people give back do good shit for humanity we're not talking about getting sucked into a personal interpersonal relationship maybe try to depersonalize it okay then we also have rebel this is that wands energy i had there because fuck it fuck it honey just why not why not i am going to do wisdom of the oracle no i want to do this rebel deck Okay, so this is, these are kind of long. If you like my voice, then stick around because it takes a couple minutes to read the full message in the book. This is the Sacred Rebel Oracle, okay? Feels appropriate for my, oh man, these cards are so huge. Did you see that for my teeny little hand? my room full of rogues my rebels okay we just had this the other day in the world not of the world okay so i'm gonna read it again apparently we need to hear it again so here we go this says it is safe for you to become naked with life this doesn't necessarily mean stripping off and running wild in public. It does mean stripping back your beliefs, strongholds, and mental or emotional security blankets so that you can live with less obstruction than ever before. Imagine the conditioning that has kept life away from you. Imagine the conditioning that has kept life away from you, just kept it dropping out of your hands like keys, coins, or clocks. Conditioned beliefs about money, time, security, having, locking away, holding, and controlling can be surrendered and allowed to fall away. What would it be like to feel as though you were on a holiday every day? Perhaps there would be a softening in your way of life, an implicit trust in its flow, and a faith in the ability of time to bend and stretch as needed so that all may be accomplished. It is an advanced stage of our spiritual relationship with life that we are able to feel held within it sufficiently enough to surrender our defensives layer by layer and to nakedly accept what is. This oracle comes as a message to you. Sometimes we need our defenses. At other times it is clear we have outgrown them. There is something that you have outgrown. It is time. It has to do with your ideas about pro productivity, time, control, and money. It has to do with abundance, with trust and living, with the fundamental belief that everything is going to turn out okay. You are ready to be much more vulnerable and exposed in life. You don't have to hide behind organized, perfect, in control, or financially secure and stable. Nor do you need any other acceptable, quote unquote, acceptable social face. It is time for you to loosen the strings of your own controlling nature. They are too tight and too restrictive for you anyway. You were born to live in a much freer way. When you live as you innately are, 
rather than how you've been conditioned to be, you will experience greater joy, freedom, and support. When you are not resisting yourself or resisting life, there is less resisting what you need as it comes to you. Okay. Now the rest of it, it says, if you've also drawn the faith in the process oracle, which we haven't, it says the message is particularly strong for you. The message is that you are shedding. It might be an identity. It might be a status symbol, such as a car, home, or suburb. It could even be a socially admired relationship. You are shedding because no matter what the appearance of things, those old forms are too constricting for you. It's almost like your spirit was trying to walk about in shoes several sizes too small. They were starting to pinch, the seams were ripping, and eventually they would fall apart completely. Likewise, you are being stripped of internal beliefs that are failing you. Listen to that. You are being stripped of internal beliefs that are failing you, perhaps externally as well. Whether this seems to be your choice or not, make no mistake. It is your own spirit in cahoots with the loving spirit of life that has brought this situation about. So you are being guided to trust. You are being not only guided to rely on life, but also on your own inner knowing because at some level you get it. You understand and you know that this is all freeing you. After letting go, there comes a temporary emptiness that provides a greater space for fulfillment to come forth, right? When we walk away from things, it doesn't mean that we don't feel it for, you know, we don't mourn, we don't feel like that thing is gone because even if there's something negative you're walking away from, especially if it's become comfortable, if it's the thing you learned, if it's, if it's the thing you know, if you're trying to shed an old version of yourself, you still have to give yourself a little bit of time and respect that feeling of letting that go, of being like, I thought that's who I was and it's not. And now I have to build up this new thing and it, it's a lot, okay? And that's okay, it's okay. It's shedding, it's beautiful, it's evolution. It's straight up Pisces. <laughs> I love you guys. I hope you got something out of this reading and that it helped you to reflect on something you're going through. Hit the thumbs up button uh, if you liked it or something in here, rang your bell. And if you didn't, go ahead, thumbs it down. I don't give a shit. Um, the algorithm likes it either way. Doesn't matter to me. Drop a comment down below. Um, I'm gonna work on the next birthday reading after this and maybe on my lunch break, I might do another one. I love you guys. Take care of yourselves. If you haven't subscribed already, Come on, come on around, <laughs> Pisces. We do this all the time and the people here are very nice. So I would love to have you. Check out Rogue uh, Goddess Tarot. I did a collective read there. And there are love readings as well if you want to check like your moon, rising, Venus, that kind of stuff. Um, you can check those on that channel as well, okay? Love you guys. Take care of yourself. Bye now.